of Brenham from Kansas. So this oh, is what I this is what I replaced it with. That's and nice. Beautiful. Yeah, the camera's not going to zoom in. Some days, it does, some days it doesn't. But this is my new Brenham. And How thick is that slice, Topher? Oh, it's not a slice, buddy boy. Okay. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, oh wow! Wow! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, baby. Yummy. So, since Cameron started it off, um, <laughs> oh, very oh, nice, nice. Wow. slice. Nice. Look at the polish. Yeah, the polish is incredible. So, here's the backside, which is unpolished, but still looks pretty Jumped amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Very nice. It's just, yeah, I mean, just it's like, <laughs> it's like a mirror. Next is, I'm out of my mind. I think I'm going to have to take a break from buying stuff for a little while. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, any guesses before uh, I flip it over? I'm having a really hard time uh, deciding. Yeah. Uh, is it Punger? No. No. It's it, is it it looks like a stony, right? Or is it yeah. yeah. I I can't ID it. I don't know if this will help, but here's the uh oh wow, that's um now let, let me see the backside for one second. Uh, that's the uh, that's the lunar melt. Yep. Yeah. Match three seven eight eight. Which one was it? Thirteen three seven eight eight. Match streams. Yep. The N one. Well, wait, but wait, there's more. Now we're getting You've got a sickness, Bruce. That was only, yeah, that was only half the problem. Here's the other half. Uh, that is that eleven two seventy three. No, it's not. So, uh, I bought this for my birthday. Cool. Uh, this is NWA one three seven five eight for Rumaruti. Ooh, nice. That's the rumor, Rudy. So, uh, I got this from one Juan uh, Avila's, and I always say his last name wrong. Uh, uh, this showed up, I think, exactly a week sooner than I was told it would, but nice. has some nice, nice brecciation in there. Uh, twelve point nine grams, and he polished that side for me. So, and then it's actually a beautiful meteorite on, on the interior. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. speaking of brecciation, I got uh, some brecciated eucrite from uh, the. This is this month's. Oh, it's provisional. It's NWA to be determined. Ooh. But this is uh, um, Roberto Vargas's new Ukrite, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Cool. That'd be beautiful. Uh, my, this is part of my Christmas present for my wife. So this is uh, NWA 13758, um, 235 grams. It's, uh, it's an R3, Rumor Rudy Class 3. And here she is. Well, I have to zoom out. There we go. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. The the rumorudiites are very unusual. They uh they often contain very, very little metal. And the stuff in them that looks like metal is uh quite oftentimes troilite, uh so often. They're it's a very, very interesting group of meteorites. This is a really a beautiful one too. Especially once you turn it over and see all that fusion crust. Look at that crust. Wow. Hello. That's thick and really stipply textured. 
Yeah, I, I came across a, a humorous uh, flowchart on how to identify a meteorite. And uh, that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I also got these Tarda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bunch of little pieces Good amount. and and I would like to point out too that um, I got these from I'm going to mess up his last name Daniel Sheik mm -hmm. okay so I got them from him um, he was trying to raise money for his trip. And so this is Martian, Poikilitic Shergatite. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Um, all but the erg check of what I'm showing right now is all his classifications. Um, so this next one is NWA 13363. This is Angrite. Mm. Nice. nice. Little easy. Look at the crust on that one. Wow. One's, that one's super cool, but sure is. the creme de la creme. Oh, no. That I am super excited about. And I'm going to mess this name up too. But Hasi Masao. Masood, yeah, I think. Zero zero one, not like not not like mm -hmm. point wow. nine eight grams, almost a full gram. Nice, Damn. Wow. Batman. That's a good size for knock light. <laughs> oh my god! As we mentioned his name several times, Daniel Shake is one of our uh, friends of the Bolide, and he is also a a. Uh, PhD student in geosciences, uh, he, geochemistry. He's moving to Portland to continue his education. Uh, we are trying to help him get there. Um, we've already had the 500 hour donation. So thank you very much. Uh, Mike Kelly in the house. Hey, how's it going guys? Got a, got a couple of yeah. things to, that I was excited about. This is a nice little quarter gram of Mifflin, Wisconsin. Mm. Uh, and what I was really happy about this, and, and Topher can relate, this is number 60 of 60 for me for the Cloudy Nights Meteorite Challenge. That is awesome. Yeah, and it's, it's a good diversity of scientifically important, historicals, uh, some Americans. There's, there's a bunch of different things on there that, that make it a pretty cool listing. It, it should be up to like 65 by now, though. You know what I mean? There should be <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure it could be hotly debated and reworked. There's yeah. plenty out there that's really cool. This is really cool. We'll see if anyone well, figures this one out. But congratulations on completing oh. it. That's a great accomplishment, man. Thank you. So, yeah. uh, Mike, I saw the label on this one when you first <laughs> zoomed in, and all I can say is congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Two saw oh! ring. Oh, man. So, Two saw so ring. Oh, God. It's, yeah, it's that's, not uh, much, but, uh, you know, every once in a while for work, it takes me down through Washington, D.C. Mike, um, have you looked at it under the microscope yet? Uh, I did, and uh, and I could shoot you some pictures later, Arthur. It's it's pretty impressive looking under the microscope. It's It's got I really neat it. little uh, little tapered uh, crystal structures in there for those little spindles. So, I want you to try to zoom in now, can you? <laughs> and, uh, and, of course, for... Uh, uh, for the people that are new, this is an ATAC site, and so this is one of the super high nickel content uh, nickel iron meteorites. Oh yeah, you can see some of them needles. Yeah, That's yeah, beautiful. I was I was surprised in there because when I saw ATAC site, I figured it wouldn't have that, but I guess when they uh, when it did its recrystallization thing, they uh, they came out. When I first got this, it was it looked like someone had used it as a coaster, right? <laughs> Oh, that's that one. Yeah. Yeah, it had it had huge saw marks down the middle of both sides. Yeah, and a wow. lip on the bottom that was big enough that it would self-stand up. Oh, no <laughs> kidding. Right, right down here. Yeah, this was so wide on both sides that it literally would stand up. But there's so much going on in this slice. So much. Look at this metal down here. This one is, this is not a, Yes, it's cut, but I did actually bring it to 600 grit. 
which it looks phenomenal. Us usually I only go to, I don't know, 325, I think, um, for taking pictures sometimes when you have less of a shine, it takes better still photos. Mm -hmm. Um, this one, this fun little one here. Oh, this was fun to cut. Cause Whoa. look at that. Uh, wow. Uh, H class, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing it too. Sure. And what's great about it is it adds provenance to the pieces. So um, it, it, to me, it makes the pieces even more special as, as Ron and I were talking offline one day. I was yeah. telling you, just having a buddy work, working on them is it, cool. It actually goes from a, from a box opening video right through the final weights. I mean, every step of the process. <laughs> I even wear the shirt in the video. Nice. <laughs> Last 20 seconds, <laughs> put the shirt on. <laughs> um, but they came out pretty nice. I, I, I hand sanded these down to 2,000 grit sandpaper, all of them. And I individually soaked and etched these. They went through my electrolysis tank. And they came out very nice. They are uh, beautiful. I, there was a little bit of material loss, but not much. Some little pieces chipped off as I was sanding. It couldn't be helped. Some of these things are just hanging on. But it came out not bad. So that's the main mass of the iron that we're talking about. Well, well that's a 13855. Yeah. Okay. So our slices are from like right here. <laughs> that's the very tip. Oh, oh, yeah. This must be a large meter, right? Like, but you can see that there are a lot of uh, cracks. Yeah, this puppy is. Uh, here's here's what the Gibeon looked like coming up. You can see it barely. You can barely see this big thumbprint right here. You know, well, one thing about etching is you got to have an absolutely clean surface. It's got to be scrupulously clean. Mm -hmm. And this is a little, little bit later. This is when I had finished. Uh, polishing it up but there's my that's the 320 grit and there's 1500 grit and two and three thousand but yeah just like a, a, a space rubble pile mm -hmm. now his had a lot more diagonite material in it mine does not have that much diagonite material in it as his so like we said earlier it's a sliding scale i wonder what it hook but the main matrix looks looks to be similar. Mm -hmm. The tiniest little patch of fusion crust on top. So the other thing I have for us today is, is it crust? Um. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look like contraction cracks. Nice. Yep, contraction cracks. This is, uh, this is crust. This is real fusion crust. Nice. It's like Godot. Yeah, th this is a an unclassified that I got a uh, very light layer of desert varnish on it. Um, not a real heavy layer. We'll look at one that has a lot more. But uh, on this one, the because of the reflected cross polarized light, you can actually see right through the desert varnish. And mm -hmm. desert varnish, you know, when when rocks sit out in the desert long enough, they they turn black despite the fact there's a little corrosion there, that's actually reasonably fresh fusion crust that has that very stippled uh, look to the surface. And the then fusion, I have my pocketed, pocket pen, pen bending little poker right there. Yeah. You can see chondrules poking through the, 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 the fusion crust. Yeah. And then yeah, the, the look on, on the edge by your thumb there is very telling as well. You can see that there's a fractured surface, and then you can see the, the uh, bit of fusion crust right along the edge there. And that one is, has reasonably thick fusion crust. That type of feedback is amazing, and I'm really glad that you shared it with us. And I'm glad that we have a couple of new people each and every week joining us.